Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my dog, Camper Delventhal. We live in a 2006 Toyota Prius, and we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. This is fun. <laughs> Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. Camper and I would be so thankful. On last week's episode, Camper and I make our way east, making a stop in the boondocking famous town of Quartzsite, Arizona. Here we show you some of our favorite places the town has to offer, from their world-renowned shows, to petroglyph hunting, and epic hiking trails. But on this particular hike, I realized my knee injury from last month was getting even worse. If you've been watching for a while, about a month ago, I got in a pretty bad ski accident in Lake Tahoe, and it was really bad, leaving me on the couch for two weeks. I think I tore my meniscus. Thinking I was mostly healed, I continued on, but I learned the hard way, as continually over the next month, I would have annoyances and re-injure my knee on this hike. It was time to be smart and get help. So here is how the journey to recovery began. And let me tell you, when you travel full time and live in a car, it can get pretty messy. Good morning. Let's take a look outside. Look how beautiful it is out camp. Good morning, how did we sleep? The day started with our morning stretches. Wait, what, do you, what are you doing? Why are you sitting on me like that? Gotcha. You're lifted off into the air. Morning kisses. And the very slow crawl to the front seat. <sighs> I broke down our sleeping setup, and then both of us had some breakfast. And made our own language. boop a doop a doop doop a doop boop a doop And some green juice. In my coffee cup. Breakfast is served. <laughs> oh my god, you just drooled on me. All right, camp, you ready to go? Phoenix, here we come. On the way, we stopped for a car wash. Working at the car wash. Oh, we've been needing this. Yes, we have. and a stop to get the correct footwear to support our feet and knees. Today is get a bunch of new shoes day. Look at all the shoes we got. I know, now mama's feet are gonna be good again. Footwear is important. Wear the right footwear for your foot. We donated our old shoes and then went to the park. Hey, good boy. Nope, camper. <laughs> After we got done terrorizing the locals, we went stick hunting. Look what we got here. <laughs> Who's the happiest boy in the world? And then played some fetch. Good boy, wait. You ready? Go get it. And then we finally made it to our cousin's house. All right, this is where we are sleeping tonight try to take my bike this time, thieves. I don't think so. In case you missed the last episode when I was in Phoenix, someone stole the rear wheel off of my bike. So this time we came extra prepared. Uh, that's a little trick back up into the wall. Can't even take it if they wanted to. Well, it would just be a lot harder. And now I have one lock, chain lock, this lock, we got it all covered. Take a I love you. All right, it's bedtime. Uh, you know, last time we stayed here, a lot of you guys were like, I can't believe they made you sleep in your car. And so just to be clear, I choose to sleep in my car. This mattress is much more comfortable than a lot of couches or futons or spare beds. So don't worry, we just love our home, even though it might be bigger soon. Serious question, if we were to upgrade, what do you think we should get? Anyways, it was time to go to bed. But as more time went on, my knee was hurting more and more. Oh, my knee. 
And that was the final straw. Tomorrow, I would have to do something to make sure I recovered 100%. It's a little cramped back here, isn't it? Oh God. <laughs> Come on, I'm inside. Oh. All right, let's do this camp. I just spent an hour calling doctors to try to get an MRI or someone to see me. I'm gonna continue, but maybe get out of the car this time. Well, I left messages at like 10 different knee specialists, so hopefully someone will get back to me. But uh, in the meantime, I know it'll make me feel better. Coffee from my cousin's house and laundry. This not the sexiest thing you've ever seen. All right, well, Camper and I have been walking around for, oh, someone's calling. Woo! Yes! I'm so stoked because after like, Three hours of digging and searching, I did find an amazing orthopedic specialist and she's got a five-star review. So here we go. Ready camp, let's go get fixed. So we headed to the doctor. Well, this is a beautiful drive to the office. You know, from the beautiful mountains that I probably shouldn't climb because of stupid knee. Ugh. Yeah, it's so dumb. You better get better soon, Ma. First stop was at Full Circle. Courtney took amazing care of us and checked us out. This is fun. <laughs> Thanks, Courtney. You're welcome. <laughs> but things weren't looking so good, so we were off to get an MRI. Oh, this is a bummer. I'm not happy. <sighs> Skiing. Okay. All right, we're off to go get an MRI. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be a very expensive day. Uh, for anyone who's gonna say anything already, yes, I have health insurance. Um, it's just not in the state of Arizona. And every single plan, I talked to nine different representatives uh, on the marketplace, healthcare.gov, all of that, not a single one is covered nationwide. The only thing that's covered is emergency rooms nationwide. Um, Gotta love US healthcare. So if you do plan to live on the road full time, something you are gonna wanna think about is a savings account for things like this. If you do know of a healthcare plan or you are a full-time traveler and you have nationwide insurance, please let me know. Cause if I'm wrong and let me tell you, I wanna be wrong, tell me now. <laughs> but the ones people have told me about, I looked into it and it ends up they don't cover things like this, unfortunately. So anyways, moving on. Let's get this MRI and let's get healthy and let's get hiking as soon as possible. Right, Camp? Uh, yeah. All right. Getting in for the MRI was quick and painless. Well, that was not painless. That was kind of dumb. Okay, I wasn't allowed to have my phone, but we got our MRI and now we wait. In the meantime, lots of resting. We're not very good at that. And yummy meals. Later that evening. Okay guys, I have some not so fun news. I just talked to Courtney and uh, she was able to take a look at the MRI and it looks like I tore my ACL. So, the past few hours I've just been making a game plan on what to do since obviously there's now a change of plans. Um, so, I just booked us a hotel room so we can just relax and focus on getting better. Maybe we can actually uh, clean up a little bit. That'll be nice. So, uh, one of the best trainers uh, one of my friends goes to is here in Phoenix and that's what we're going to do tomorrow. We're going to go there and every single day, all we're going to do is work on getting better. It was an expensive day, but it was a productive day because now we know what's wrong and now we know how to fix it. So we're going to get a good night's sleep and starting tomorrow, we are on the road to recovery. All right. Good night, guys. Good morning. How did you sleep? You know what we're doing today? We're going to a hotel. First, we made a stop for coffee, treats, then got checked into the hotel we'd be staying at for the next couple weeks. No. 
This is immaculate. Hey, you guys see this? Oh my gosh, we have a balcony? You gotta be kidding me. We got neighbors. This is your home! Camper wasted no time in getting comfortable in our new home. Yet somehow with all this extra room, he still manages to keep the space tight. <laughs> oh, okay. Then it was time for therapy. I did not bring my camera in for the sessions as it's a very professional facility, but here's a little taste of the emotional roller coaster that was the next three weeks. Here we go. That was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Miracle machine, but also torture device. Session two down, cried again. I think childbirth might be easier than what I just felt. We're gonna get better. <laughs> I've gained 10 pounds in two weeks eating red meat and a ton of oil. So <laughs> oh, we're getting some gains. I haven't worked up my upper body, that's a lie. Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> it's official. I am no longer 80% vegetarian. I am a meat eater again. Wow. Uh, that sucked. Even though I was focusing on getting better, Camper and I still had a ton of fun over those few weeks. Here's some of the things that we did. Butt sniffing. Treat shopping. Which can be a pretty lengthy process. Tried all the dog parks in the area. Get in the water! Cosmo Dog Park being the absolute favorite. It has three different areas and a fun place to swim for all the dogs, even if it wasn't intentional. <laughs> we attempted some epic naps, emphasis on attempted. Can we take a nap? <laughs> you just said no. Hung out in the pool. This sucks, but at least we got a pool. Ordered food in together. It's date night. Uh, finished all the sushi. I'm not sure I would recommend ordering sushi in Arizona, but I finished it, so. And even had a couple nights out to eat. There's something in there for you too, buddy. Camper, this is for you. We had a blast. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and turn on notifications. And if you'd like all of our videos early access and during that time completely ad-free, join our Patreon for as low as $1 a month. Have a great day. We love you all. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Camper, did you make this mess? Oh, goodness. All right, I'm gonna take a shower. This better be clean when I get back.